do you when you come up with some ideas, do you keep the idea somewhere or do you just go to ChatGPT or or Liprit and then ask put the prompt to build, try to build? It depends. Some ideas, if I have an idea, I might just open up Replit on my phone and just like type it in and just ask it to build it. Um, if it's a more complex idea, sometimes I'll go to ChatGPT first. Or if I'm like unsure, if I have like a fuzzy idea, I might be like, hey, I feel like we could do this and then I'll brainstorm it a little bit with ChatGPT and then I'll just take it to Replit. So in that sense, has your tech stack changed over time? I, I know nowadays you use Replit and and I saw your recent, in, in your recent project, you, know, you use Replit, Vsend for email and, 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 and so many tools, but has that changed over time? And also, what tech stack do you prefer nowadays? Uh, yes, it has changed over time. I mean, before I started building with AI, I was, you know, I could do a little coding, but I was mostly using no code tools. So my stack was Zapier, <laughs> um, an Airtable, and, and uh, no code tool software was on top, sitting on top of Airtable. So, so it was a, there was a no code stack. I started building with AI just around the time that ChatGPT came out, right? I, uh, and at that point, I had just started using, I started using Replit. Um, I remember, I remember like loving Replit because in my prior attempts at using Python on my computer and using it in the terminal, I would run into things like having the wrong Python version or having the, and like, it, it, I, I, that was just something I never really wanted to figure out. Uh, Replit just made that all easy. So, so at that point, my, uh, my stack was uh, having ChatGPT write code and copy pasting it into Replit largely for their 